up, we have Tim Thompson. Well, hello, members of the board. I want to thank you uh, for practically nothing today. The way you've been handling yourself is a travesty to this entire community. I want to tell you that according to the Department of Health and Human Services, the COVID-19 virus has had an overall survivability rate of 99.8% globally, which increases to 99.97% for persons under the age of 70 on a par with the seasonal flu. If you don't understand this, you haven't been using that lump three feet above your rear end, okay? It's very simple. This is an attack on our culture. It's an attack on our children. It's an attack on our American way of life, and we will not put up with it. If you will not make a change, we will make a change with those seats that are right there, because you won't be in them anymore. I'll tell you this. I've been doing this for much longer than just COVID. I am no, no stranger to what goes on in the public school system. I want to fight what's going on, not just with the mask, but what's going on with the sexual indoctrination of our children. I come to the school board meetings, and what do you tell me? You tell me to go up to Sacramento because you don't have anything to, to do with this. Oh, we're, we're just a school board. Go to the state. So we go up to the state. I've done this dance so long. Go to the state. What do they tell us? Oh, well, you know what? You, you have to go back to your local school board because they're the ones with the control. So we come back to you. We don't have any control. This is what you guys do. You point the fingers in opposite directions. Nobody ever wants to take accountability. Those days are over with. Now, I'll tell you this. Here's what happened last time I was here. Steve Lohner was the only man with a backbone that was here that day. He said, I want us to at least have the conversation. Mr. Skumowitz, Mrs. Hinkson, and Mrs. Broach, all three of you are cowards and wouldn't even voice your opinion. You're cowards, and I'm not afraid to tell you. You're cowards, and you need to be replaced. Okay? You have a, you have a moment to redeem yourself, though. Item M on your agenda today. You, th you three especially need a vote to open the schools with no masks, no social distancing. This is enough is enough, and you need to make the decision to do what's right. Okay? And I heard you, Mrs. Broch, I heard you say, hey, listen, you know, we, we, we would voice our opinion, but we don't really think the state cares what we have to say, even though the superintendent said seconds. you should go let your voice be heard. So if, if you're telling us to go let our voice be heard to the state and you're saying the, the state doesn't even care what you have to say, do you see the hypocrisy of what's going on? Yeah. Enough of the hypocrisy. You three better make a stand for these parents in this community. And if you don't, you're being replaced. Yeah.